Howdy folks, Brett here with a quick tip for both Windows 11 and Windows 10 PCs. For most people to see and manage all the programs they have on their computer, there's a few ways they do this that's not the most efficient. One way is to left click the start menu and select all here in the upper right. Then you can scroll through a long list of apps on your PC. The second way is to open the settings app with the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I and select apps here on the left. Then here on the right, select Installed Apps. At least here, they give you a choice how to view them. You can view them by list, grid, and view them by tile. But once again, you still have to scroll down, which seems like forever if you have a ton of apps installed. And the third way is to use the outdated control panel, which has been a core part of Windows since 1985 with the launch of Windows 1.0. With large icons selected in View By, you would go to Programs and Features. Then scroll through a long list. You can change the view here, but no matter which view you select, it's an inefficient way to view and manage all of your programs. Now I'll show you my preferred way of viewing and managing the apps on my computers. For this one, we'll be using a run command. To do this, the keyboard shortcut is the Windows key plus R key. When it opens, type the prompt, the word shell, followed by a colon, and the words apps folder. Once you have that prompt entered, hit enter on your keyboard. Now you can see more of your apps in the window with less scrolling needed, and it even shows you those that don't appear in the apps list in Windows settings. At the top, you can change the view. My preferred is tiles. If you want to change the view, you have several options here. I'll let you try those out on your own. With this view, it might simplify finding your apps to manage them, and you may discover apps that you have installed that you might have forgotten about. Right clicking on any of these, you have the choices to open, uninstall, pin or unpin to the start menu or taskbar, and you can also create a desktop shortcut. Here's one to get rid of, the new Outlook, which is craptastic. You can right click here to uninstall. Of course, since it's a Microsoft app, it will send you two settings to uninstall. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was useful for you. If it was, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. In the comments, let us know your thoughts on this method to see all the apps on your PC. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and make sure to click the bell to not miss out on our latest videos for Windows and other tech-related stuff here on Brett in Tech.